Welcome to the Amazon SP API Connector Report Creation Video. This video will outline an example of how the Amazon Connector can be used within a task to generate and retrieve reports when using the Selling Partner API. This method is solely for connections where no personally identifiable information, known as PII, or data that Amazon considers to be restricted is involved. Please see our Amazon Connector Seller Central Authentication video for details on how to create and configure a connection. If you are using our restricted data access mode in your connection to return PII data, then please see our other video detailing report generation for that use case. This task uses three operations within individual Amazon Connector task steps. These are Create Report, Get Report, and Get Report Document, all using the Report Native Object. Amazon uses its own schedule to process reports. So after a report is requested, a loop checks when the report status updates to Done with a wait time to allow processing to take place. This task also includes error handling if the report status is returned as fatal or cancelled, saving the response to disk. The final part of the task retrieves the resulting report URL from Amazon. Before converting the contents to a record set, writing the record set to a variable, and finally, outputting the report as a file to a folder. Let's look in more detail at the required elements. You will require BPA Platform 2021 or above, the Amazon Connector tool, and an Amazon Seller Central account and credentials. The BPA platform related software can be downloaded via the partner area on the Codeless Platforms website. Before starting, you will need to create the variables used in the task. The first set of variables need to be created at a global level. These are called Amazon Output Folder and the other Report Type. Create these two global variables, both with the variant type. The value is the location of a folder that we will create shortly. For our example, set the value of the report type variable as shown, but other report types could be entered here. The second set of variables need to be created at task level. These are named catch status and URL. Both variables are set as type variant and scope set as task. No values are required at this stage. Next, you will need to create a global function. We have named this Amazon Get and Save Report Document. This contains two parameters, URL and file name. The function uses VB script to save the report results to disk. If you wish to use this script, it is available from this location. This script is provided on an as-is basis and the responsibility of its use in a production environment is solely the responsibility of the user. Before creating the task, you will need to create a folder to save the report on your computer to use later. This can be any location of your choosing. We have already created our task and will now run through the key aspects from requesting the report to it finally being saved as a file. Let's look at the Amazon Connector step named Create Report. This first step connects to Amazon and uses the Create Report operation under the Report Native Object. We'll request our report 
by sending report parameters. These include the report type using our report type global variable we created earlier, the start end times for the period our report is to cover, and the marketplace IDs. We will click OK to close. Next, we will open the Amazon Connector step named Get Report. The second Amazon Connector step uses the Get Report operation, again under the Report Native Object. It consumes the output data from the previous Amazon Connector step. This step will return the report processing status, and for our task, we want to know when the status is done. To achieve this, we have a loop in the task to regularly check on its progress. Following the Get Report step, we can see a Convert XML to Record Set step, which will extract the Processing Status field from the Amazon Connector. Let's open the Run VB Script step named Write Status to Variable. This step consumes the Record Set output from the previous step and writes the value of Processing Status to the Catch Status variable we created earlier. The Decision step is then used to check the current report status. If it is done, we can move on to getting the report data. If it's still processing, we introduced a loop with a delay of one minute to ensure we don't exceed Amazon's rate limits. And if it has a status of fatal or cancelled, the response is saved to a file. Next, we will open the Amazon Connector step Get Report Document. As soon as the decision step determines that the report status is done, this step uses the Get Report Document operation under the Report Native Object to consume the output data from the response of the Get Report step. The XML to Record Set step then consumes the output data from the Amazon Connector Get Report Document step. It extracts the URL field, which is then passed to the global variable called URL, which we created earlier in the Run VB Script step. The final step in the task will output the report and save the file to disk as a text document. Using the global function created earlier and the URL and Amazon output folder variables, the report's data can be downloaded from the Amazon URL and then saved to your nominated file on disk. The task can now be saved and run, either individually or to form part of a wider integration solution. For this video, we will right-click and queue the task. Once it is complete, we can open the report. And that's it for this video. Call us for further information or visit codelessplatforms.com. Thanks for watching.